Ignition! The high stakes race is on to determine if our heroes have what it takes to be Silver Jaws. Will the perilous course prove too much or will they successfully bolster the ranks of the Rebellion? Find out in this final episode of Swooper Serenade. <laughs> she just laughs. She gets on a really amazing looking speeder. Or a swoop bike. And then moves away, and then there's the beater behind it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Pulls away. Oh, crazy. One of the one of the exhaust manifolds falls off. Oh. Well, this is starting off wonderful. Were those those work gloves I just got you? Uh, they are now the teens for for the at least the moment of the race, yes. Oh. She said no. I feel dejected. But that's okay. I have work to do. Ah, let's go do this. So you guys, you know, hop rides and, and get to the starting line for the, the cauldron. It's lined with, uh, it, so it's this ginormous Duracrete support structure for the industrial highway that's above. But a true Star Wars fashion, it's massive in scale. And so it's, it's lined with all of the swoops of the, the Silver Jaws. You know, they've got their own little chant going on. There's two barrels, you know, that you're between that have the, you know, the fire in them, as you would have under an overpass, basically. Yeah, yeah, like in certain movies where they're very fast and very furious, yes. Yeah. Ahead of you, you just see, one, this is at, at nighttime, thus the fire, so you've got a, a broad starlit sky along with a, a slightly tumultuous sea sound, but uh, you're staring at the, the horizon. You can tell kind of, you, you get a little bit of a build up, and then there's a drop off, that's the step. It's nicknamed the step because right as soon as your swoop teeters over the edge of it, you're building up speed. Ah. You're heading straight into the ocean because it's got that ramp. There's some revving of the engine. You see Brit putting on a, a helmet with some leather flaps on the side. Ah, nice. Hopefully <laughs> protect him should he run into the stones again. Jax is uh, pulling out of his little, uh, his, one of the mini pockets on his uh, mechanics uh, overall still. He's, well, he, he doesn't have the gloves now, but he has a matching hat that works with it. So it almost looks like one of those uh, old uh, uh, World War II uh, leather, you know, bomber hat kind of things, you know, yes. when you're... Yeah, so he's got one of those Very guys cool. he's strapping on with the glass with the with the goggles. He, he pops over his bug eyes. Bon and and Clubber are back behind the starting line, and kind of back over your shoulder, you can see this what they've dubbed the the gangway. It's really a support beam that has you know some maintenance scaffolding on the sides for so people can can inspect it coming up and down. I'm picturing like uh like any of the cables. Or like the Golden Gate Bridge, you know, suspension bridge. Ooh, you got those okay. giant cables to it that's got a little bit of the support on the sides. Ustin is is reveling in the moment. Yes, the cauldron again calls. This is excellent. Oh, I've raced it many times myself. Too many to count, really. But uh, <laughs> uh, who cares about that? Uh, it's all for the fame and glory. You know, silver jaws all the way. Right, my friends? And, and <laughs> he does his best to try and get uh, Clubber in a, one of those headlocks he had before, but he kind of gets like half his bicep. <laughs> he looks up and it's like, yes, uh, to the Silver Jaws. But well, hopefully after this race, we have new family members to welcome in. If not, uh, well, maybe we push you into the sea. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, while that's going on, uh, Jex is, is, is motioned for Bond to come on over. Hey, 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 hey. come here, come here. Yeah, yeah. I need to give you a few things. So uh, hang on just a second. He like starts digging in his pouch because he's got a lot of stuff on him at all times. So he like, he, out of nowhere, he pulls out a data pad, hands it to you. Can you hold on this for me? Yep. And uh, can you hold on to uh, these ration packs I've got? I don't uh -huh, tell Clever uh -huh. about them. They're, 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 they're standard issue. What, yeah, what, uh, yeah, what ration uh, packs? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so he's done that. He, he's got his comm link. He shows he's got it. He's got that set up. Uh, he's you got, got his repair patches. Okay. Yeah, got in, got in his ear. He's got uh, repair patches. He's showing you that he's got some repair patches, and he's got his uh, stim packs just in case. Um, and that's all. All right, here. Uh, put this in your pocket so I can track you, and I'll hmm? keep my eye oh. on you. Which pocket? I have, like, 30. Pick one. Uh, number 23. I'll write that down. Number 23. As you guys discuss that, you hear from Houston, let the race begin! And Britt takes off. I go, go, go! <laughs> his red, his red uh, duster flapping in the wind. Yes. So hopefully, we'll see how this goes. 
Yeah. Uh, so we're going to do opposed rolls, and Britt got the unfair head start. Of course. He's adding a setback die to this, but his skill is two purple, two red for your opposed roll. The who comes out of the step first. Jax is used to this kind of thing. He's a skilled jockey, so he's going to remove that setback. Well, I got to try it, but I failed. But I got to try it. Well, how do you want to handle that? Yeah, so Britt keeps the lead. Okay. Is, a, is where that's at. You failed to overtake him. That's fine. That's fine. I think what I'm going to do with the Triumph is the, the Triumph is going to be that the, the one of the fenders falls off, gives him a little bit more speed. So he's going to be able to uh, attempt to overtake him on this next uh, roll here is because it lightens his load, and he's already a light person as is. Uh, so it'll upgrade my check for the next, uh, next one. Okay. Yeah. Ah, that'll be perfect. Uh, where's, uh, what, what's Clubber up to after getting his awkward hug from Houston? He'll pat him on the head and then as subtly as a almost nine foot tall person can kind of try to disappear and start making his way to where the chute exits out. So the, you're, you're making your way up the gangway support beam is going to be athletic. Okay. You've got two setback for difficult terrain on that okay make it average but i'll also spend i'll spend a token so you got two purple or you got two red and two Thanks, Thank Noah. You, Noah. Thank you, Noah. the gangway does span an inlet in the bay by the way can i get a boost die because even though this is treacherous terrain in clubber's previous work he's been on construction sites and things being built so he's had to climb up halfway constructed buildings and things like that so climb this is difficult but it's not a new to him yeah, showing a little bit of fearlessness while walking the tightrope. Almost. All right. Oh, all right. All right. So five successes, three, three threats and a triumph. OK, so I'll take I don't know if you anything other than like strain, I guess, for the threats, unless you can think of something. No, I, I was gonna, it's going to be strain because you're running uphill. So I'll take three strain and then. Yeah. So oof, the triumph is awesome. I think for a triumph, you get to the the end of the gangway. Uh, which is essentially long range from you. So you're moving, a, you know, an extra range band. So you're standing where the gangway meets the highway, practically ready to step out into traffic on your next roll. So Bond was left holding all of Jex's possessions. So what's, what's he up to? He wants to inspire. You know, he's he's in his ear. We got the ocean coming up next, followed by, by the stones. Uh, keep your eye out. This is just like the underworld. Nothing new. These are just like struts. Just like the struts of the, of the old power plant. Gotcha, gotcha. You got no, you, yes. you got this. This ain't nothing new to you. We grew up in this, and you're already losing parts. What you know? You're making that into a cantina racer, man. Mechanic of the year. All right. Uh, so Jex is coming down the step, and and he's still behind. But Britt starts weaving between the stones, and this is definitely where Britt gets nervous. Been here before. Great. Yeah, he's grinning like a madman. By the way, he's just there. There is no fear of this. He's just. <laughs> Doesn't matter if he's uh, behind or not. This is this is what he lives for. Let's do it. <laughs> Woo! Two successes, an advantage, and a triumph. You want to keep upgrading on the for the triumphs? I think so. I think that's a yes, good I'm going to keep it. that going. Yeah, that's kind of like momentum in a mm -hmm. sense. So he's going to, with the successes, obviously, he, he navigates it and overtakes him, right? I think Jex sees that opportunity right as the pillars mm -hmm. start to, I don't know if I, I mentioned it, but they're, they're essentially, you know, 30, 40 meters tall, these pillars, as you guys are skimming. Uh, skimming along just above the, the break and the waves that kind of break against them. And there's an opportunity for Jax basically to take to the sky a little bit, put a little bit more altitude in, and basically leapfrog over Brit. What Jax sees before him is this beautiful but dark listening beach in the moonlight for the Polyscura, this glass razor bladed onyx beachhead. There's a dark maw on the other side of that that's obviously the opening for the shoot. So I, I think we the camera flies back up over this huge cliff that the water is breaking against. It's these the the busy industrial highway, even though it's late at night, and comes to clubber at the maintenance entrance for this industrial highway. What's Clubber up to? Okay, so um, how much time? I have what, one more, at least one more round before they get to me? Yet two. Okay, now is there something here that like directs traffic in any way? I mean, that's almost like street lights, but is there, is there something like, like an arm that goes up and down that tells, okay, you stop, you go, or is it just people f free flowing because it's three dimensional space and they're flying? So being an interstate, there isn't any, you're, you're kind of like between cities even. So there isn't, oh, you know, there's a few 
signs for where, you know, an exit might sign might be, but there isn't any stopping currently. Now you do have some light side token. Okay, this because what I'm picturing is full light side token to have there be some construction or something happening in this area. And then I'm gonna use my mechanics to reprogram one of the construction signs to stop or redirect traffic. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing. Okay, this is my plan A. I don't have great, I have only one yellow and green mechanics. If it doesn't work, then I will step into traffic, but this is my, I don't wanna get hit by a car plan. So, okay, so I will, yeah, I will, I will flip the light side to have there be one of those blinking yellow arrow signs or whatever, and he's going to repurpose it to try to get it to have traffic, not necessarily stop, but go a different direction, like say like detour and point him in the other direction, at least minimize the traffic. So yeah. less chance of getting hit you, on the you've next You've got run. like four or five lanes in this highway and you can definitely, yeah, so if, if I, you close down one, then obviously you don't have yeah, to. Yeah, I'm going to try to, yeah, I'll try to close down one, but I don't know if I get a triumph, a couple of successes, maybe I'll close down a couple, but I'm aiming for at yeah, least yeah. closing one, one lane. What's my difficulty on repurposing this uh, traffic sign? Mm, okay. So this is a municipal traffic sign that exists. So this is average. But you do have, you know, a lot of vehicles whizzing past you while it's down. So you've got a setback to it. Can I play the I have experience doing construction work card again and get a blue? Because I know how to use these signs. And it's within the story. Yeah. All right. So here we go. So two successes and one threat. So <laughs> you lose that strain again. <laughs> yeah, I'll lose that strain again. He's he's stressing out. This is he doesn't want his friend to die. But oh. can I have the two successes be that I got two of the four lanes closed? Yeah, yeah. So you're on the south end, right? The 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 chute opens up at the north end. Mm-hmm. They travel from the north coming traffic. They head south into it. And you've come out where they are supposed to exit that section, and you've closed down two lanes for that. So you, you've made a, a barrier now where the traffic isn't flowing from where they're going to come out from the chute. All right, cool. However, you know, you do take that strain for the threat, and I think it's because as you're wrenching the mechanic pieces together and, and pulling the sign out into traffic, there's at least one truck that didn't expect this and <laughs> clips it. <laughs> oh, yes. And oh, you're, yes. you, you get those heart palpitations that you get right before you've had an accident and you've survived. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've been so there. Like too, many that. Po- too many poppy seed muffins. Too many poppy seed muffins. i got to calm down. <laughs> But the, the way seems clear. And so uh, the camera pans back over to Bond. Is there somebody talking in, in uh, Brit's ear? Does he have a spotter also? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I, I, I imagine he has the comm, but I don't think anybody's like talking him through it. I want to get him on comms. Okay. And uh, uh, shake him up a little bit with my uh, scathing tirade. Hey, Brit, this, you know, th- this is Bond. Uh, I'm watching you. Uh, I, I'm watching you. Uh, you're taking these corners a little too. Uh, not, you're not. You're not loose enough. You gotta loosen up on that grip, or you're gonna just rip your face apart again. You don't want to do this. Now, mind you, your shoulders all jacked up too. So, uh, be careful on your throttle. You're 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 goosing it too much. You're gonna lose control. You, you got this uh, the shoot coming up. Oh, you're drifting. You're drifting. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> The backseat driver, the worst. All right. Well, it's 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 a run of the roll, isn't it? Uh, it's a to... co- yeah, it's a coercion check. Coercion against average. Uh, so we are. You're getting for this one. You're getting back to three and three because I'm flipping. Oh, You've got no. two red and a purple. <laughs> right. And were you flipping as well? Is that what I? I am heard? gonna flip. Yes. Okay. So we're back to four and two. Here we go. Oh. 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 I bet you know what that despair is. Is this even the right channel? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> I think it is. I think it's the right channel. You you work really hard and strenuously to throw Brit off his game. But, you know, he's a hardcore swooper. He hasn't necessarily lived a life where people really pay him compliments. This is more in his wheelhouse. Like, uh, you know, he's shaking his head. He's shaking it off of the things that's in it. And he, he takes his calm out of his ear and throws it into the ocean and oh, bears geez. down on the throttle on. and pulls even oh. with Jax. Jax, he's right on it. He's coming up. He's coming up. And uh, he looks a little more determined now. I, I, I see him. He does look very determined. It's very, oh, boy. 
And you guys, you guys are side by side and, uh, you know, taking a look at each other. Your spook bikes are almost touching. I look over at Us and I go, man, maybe I shouldn't have told him all the things he was doing wrong. It's okay to be one of the team. This is amazing. It's the best race I've ever seen. Except for that time. Oh, no. Down. <laughs> <laughs> so I will treat the despair as he's, you know, he's caught up with you. But mechanically, that either does one of two things, I think. It either negates the upgrade that you've got for your triumph <laughs> or will just upgrade the difficulty side. I will take the upgrade to the difficulty side, so that's three okay. red, and I will keep my yellow. Sounds good. So you guys whiz over this glass beach. Ooh, four advantages. At least there was no despairs, but I got four advantages. So obviously, he took the lead. <laughs> Jackson and him were like, you know, close, you know, so close to each other, and he's kind of trying to crowd him in, but he's small, so okay, he's kind of used to this. Um, and he gets kind of close, and, and Jex takes a hand off of uh, off the, the right handle and just reaches over and strokes his knee. <laughs> and he just gets mad, and he just whips on past me. And, you got this, buddy. You got this. <laughs> He's genuinely deeply confused. And, and yeah, I think you I think you've rattled him a little bit as he enters the chute first. The chute is this kind of the starts as a wide cavern that slowly tapers. And you can see as you make a couple of hairpin turns that Brit's done this before. You know, the, the lights from your swoop illuminate the cavern wall and you can tell it's getting closer and closer. And instead of piloting planetary this time, uh -huh. uh, you're playing chicken now. Who's going out the, the zone first? So we're doing a post cool check for this one. Oh no! Oh, no. So, right. I, at least I have a rank in that. I have a yeah, rank, yeah. In that, but I've got it's, it's yeah, only two. You might want to flip on this one too. I think that's our last flip too, isn't it? It is. It is. Oh, oh so, okay. So make the tail end of the race very interesting. Yeah, I like that. Uh, Let's, I'll flip it. So what am I going against for him? Uh, so it's, interestingly enough, it's not. He has two ranks in it as well. So you've got two reds, but you have uh, oh, just a single gosh. purple added to that. So. Slightly okay. easier to outcool them. Shoot run. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Uh, let's do this. Oh my gosh. Yes. Oh. Oh. Brit slams on the brakes, you know, as you guys stare each other down. I I, I don't know. Maybe Jex reaches over one more time and is like, <laughs> I got this. It's okay. I'm smaller. I'll take it. <laughs> and he, Brit just so distracted he slams on the the brakes and, and, and pulls in behind Jex as he leaps out from this kind of mountain uh cavern out onto over the the highway there's this nice awesome shot of the swoop banking as you you're way high now you started out low and you've come up high but there's a billboard there that you're able to use as a ramp and put you right into the the lanes of traffic that Flubber has opened up for you so and as you as you land into that open lane that you have there, um, I've got six tokens, so I'm gonna have to flip yeah, one. That's fair. I think uh, a rather important component of the last tech beater snaps off, and your okay. your speed starts to to drop. Oh no! Uh, precipitously, you know, you've got the that Phantom Menace pod race moment. Oh, of no. The, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Okay. Jax, what's that beeping? What's that beeping? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. It is fine. Everything is fine. We're all fine here. I'm seeing a lot of sparks. Is it supposed to smoke that much? Of course, it's supposed to smoke that much. He pulls out a. He pulls out one of his. Uh, one of his. Uh, <laughs> he pulls out one of his. His. Uh, uh, oh, emergency repair patches. Slaps it on it, and it just. <laughs> and then kicks off again. Five successes, one triumph. It, it works better than it's ever worked before. <laughs> Bond, what are you up to? Uh, I am cheering. I'd like to do inspiring rhetoric again. Yeah, uh, go for it. Especially for that last check. You're purple, not going to give me Zatine's number? <laughs> <laughs> I can try. Do you want to, would you rather have that? <laughs> no, no, that's okay. I, I don't mind the inspiring rhetoric. That's fine. You could promise me I, that. I could try it might make me go faster. <laughs> uh, all right, here we go. Oh, what's the triumph do on that, man? Can I get Satine's number for him? <laughs> I think Satine comes over to Bond. She reaches into her inside pocket and hands you the gloves that she took earlier. Have him call me. And you hear Usin in the background. That little man is incredible. Imagine the profit he could get 
I mean, we want to have him in the family. Uh, the camera kind of races back up the wrong way up the gangway to, to Clubber there. What you got for us, Clubber? I don't even know at this point because they're they're past me. No, they're they're heading right towards you. You're at the very end before they turn. Oh, OK, they're heading right towards me. This would be the last opportunity you'd have for anything before they pass you for the finish. OK, line. Oh, I'm trying to think what what can I possibly do? Um, Jack there's no. This, <laughs> You're the size of a truck. You could clothesline him. Oh, <laughs> you see, but see, I don't want to be directly like Involved. cheating yeah. because we still want them on our side and he does have recipes I could possibly use. So I don't want to anger him too much. Okay. Okay. So um I'm trying to figure a way of I got a making it look like one. You raise a hand yeah, like I you want to give Brett a high five. It's on his oh, bad good. side. <laughs> so if he hits your hand <laughs> You yeah, okay, I like that. Sure, <laughs> I, will, I, I, will, I will try to melee attack a high five as Britt goes by and hit him as hard as I possibly can. <laughs> okay. You know, because, you know, why not? Is it melee because it's like too purple because he's close? I think so. Oh, wow. I think you get to melee the speeder bike as if you were a silhouette <laughs> one character attacking another silhouette one character. This is insane. I love it. But we are going to add two, two setbacks to it. Yeah, he's, OK. He's I, was, I, was, I was about to GM myself and say there's got to be at least two setbacks <laughs> yeah, to yeah, try yeah. to hit a car as it drives by. These are the largest dice pools I think we've ever had. Yes! Hey! Yes! OK, so two successes. I have, oh, I have my feral strength, which means I got four successes, so four. I think. I think he gets stuck on your arm. (laughs) I think you you, you don't make any overt, you know, I want to injure you clothesline, but I think that, you know, he even kind of like reaches out and like leans into it. Like, yeah, this is an amazing race. And as he does that, the speeder bike carries on without him. (laughs) He pulled him right off. The momentum is great. So that you you suffer another strain there. Does the bike go into the, the construction? Sign, release of traffic. <laughs> no, I think we have one more roll before we're done with the mission, and I think Jex has to miss the missile that is the speeder bike without the rider. I know. I hope the sp- I hope the empty speeder bike wins the race. <laughs> no whiskey throttle. Oh my gosh, that's ridiculous. He looks back. He looks what? What the? What is that? Where did Rick go? You're frantically asking in the thing. Oh, gosh. Okay. Uh, what is this roll going to be? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> <sighs> I mean, if you're treating it as a weapon, I don't know. It means it's an un- it's an attack. I mean, is, is the speeder bike mm-hmm. attacking him or I guess he's defending from it? I'm going I'm going to go with the stats of ranged heavy for okay. Brit, Ooh. which is actually more challenging than his racing stats. <laughs> no! <laughs> so he's got four agility and three ranks. So you've got oh, wow. a purple and three red. Okay, <laughs> let me. Okay, I want to do something first to see if this mm-hmm. will help. Um, I need to do. A, okay, so the upgrade and the boost and everything are going to go towards the driving chick. I just want to make sure that's okay with you first before I ask, since we're flying fast and loose. Mm-hmm. Can I do a full throttle check? <laughs> <laughs> to help get ahead of this thing to keep it from like full throttle makes me push the vehicle even further than it can go. Um, you know, if I make a check, mm-hmm. successful maneuver check. So can I do that? Yeah, I think that would give you a boost in this case. OK, if I'm able to make that check, it is a two. It's an average check for full throttle as a maneuver. I take a strain for it. OK, um, and it is. um that is a uh, piloting check. So I'm just basically trying to gun this thing so I don't get uh-huh, run over. Uh-huh. <laughs> so let's do that first. Goodness. All right. Um, so that is yellow, yellow, green. Hey, Clover's straight- going to feel a little guilty if this hits you. <laughs> <laughs> That's OK. That's OK. I, I probably deserve it at some point. Um, <laughs> so this is a uh, full throttle. Let's see if I can get this. All right, so I do get that. I'll take two strain if you want for the because I'm, yeah, I think so. Freaking out. <laughs> so, but, uh, but take two boosts for that. So you had three success. Okay. I think you're pushing it. Uh, okay. You're able to push it pretty hard. Yeah, because this thing is gonna burn out by the end of it. But I'm gonna make sure I use every last uh-huh. drop of it. <laughs> 
Runaway swoop. Uh, go, go, go. <laughs> yeah, okay. So then here's the big check. Um, you said it was, what in the world was that check again? It's, it's one purple and three red. So, and, and as you prep that, there's a burst of static over you Purgle Company members. Um, Remnant squadron to Purgle Company. We're on station and beginning our approach on target. Get ready to go loud. So you get the warning from Ace that the battle is about to kick off. All right, so this is the gangway run. Wow. Four wow. successes in advantage. There he goes. So... I think this this bike is like had it. I think it's done. <laughs> I I barely missed the the other bike, and you know what? Even better, hop onto the other bike with the advantage. <laughs> and okay. Say say Brit's bike, because I care more about Brit than I do uh, Koval. So <laughs> save his bike and and help bring it on in stylishly. That's what I wanted. <laughs> okay. So the the blast tech beater. Uh, takes a nosedive off the gangway into the ocean below. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Koval. Like he cares. <laughs> that guy's having a bad day. <laughs> <laughs> yes. two, two drinks down and, and also a, speed, or a, sp- yeah. a swoop. He's down his terrible swoop. I pass yeah. him the flask again. <laughs> I give him a pat on the back. We all have days he like this. He silently takes another sip. <laughs> Uh, you you cross the finish line and uh, Ustin is just like jumping up and down beside himself of like that is the best race I've ever seen it's amazing you're amazing this is amazing and and you're on Brit's bike you know that means that he crossed the finish line too we'll, we'll call it a tie yes a tie of course we had, very well, very well. We, had, we had one racer and and one bike cross the finish line but, but good news, it means that you now are my subject. I mean, you are part of the Silver Jaws family. We're all family, yes. That is wonderful. And as family, we need to go defend our turf. We got to get going to the north. Yes, I want to see more of your flying. Silver Jaws, mount up. And uh, you guys kind of ride off into into the night there along the coastline for uh, with your little army. Uh, now to help you fight the Empire, and that brings the the mission to a close. All right. Well, thank you guys for playing with me. Just uh, oh, real quick, you. let the audience know where they can find the work that you want them to know about for you guys. Dwayne. Oh, sure. Uh, yeah, if you want to hear more of uh, my my shenanigans as, as a GM, um, you can head over to Flight Risk. Um, we're on Twitter, Facebook, anywhere you get your, your podcast. Check us out. We're edge we're technically an edge campaign but we do anything we want we're, we're crazy over there uh we're set in the old republic we have tons of this type of ridiculous shenanigans if you like it come over to flight risk and you'll love what we do it's a hoot it really is it's awesome aj what about you what do you want people to know what to find for you yeah if you want to come check out my art i i do some some instagram art i do a little bit of uh, promo work of course on nights and the other place I help him out a little bit. Mark over there. You can find me at uh, at AJ underscore Kimball on Instagram. And you can pick up pick up uh, uh, Outbound Flight and uh, open it up on the inside and uh, see if you can find my name in there. And uh, I am Chris, or known as uh, Blamed Cat on the Discord servers. Uh, quite a few of them that I'm uh, part of here. You can hear more of my sultry voice over as an NPC voiceover on uh, Flight Risk and uh, might actually be in an episode of... Uh, course at nights at some point Excellent. yeah me too me too <laughs> thank you again right. andrew that was amazing oh, yeah. thank you Kevin. yeah this thank was so much fun andrew this was great thanks for joining us in the dicey cantina enjoying the show consider giving us a five-star review on your favorite podcatcher and reach out on twitter at dicey cantina Shoot an email to diceycantina at gmail.com or record us a message over on our page at anchor.fm. We'd love to hear from you. Your support truly helps the show grow. And for a preview of another exciting podcast, stay tuned after the credits. We want to say thanks to AJ, Chris, and Dwayne for joining Purple Company. You can hear more of Dwayne on the amazing crime dramedy Flight Risk. 
You can also find AJ, Chris, and the rest of us all over on Discord. Be sure to check out all the show notes for links to our popular hangouts. We also want to say a very special thanks to Mark Eberhardt from Nightcast Creative. Mark, you're an invaluable friend of the show. Thank you so much. Check out more of Mark's stellar work over at nightcastcreative.com. This series, Destiny Pool, was bolstered by Donate for Destiny. And guess what? We're now over halfway to our Donate for Destiny $500 team goal. Together, let's outdo that goal by Christmas. Visit diceycantina.com slash destiny for more on this fun way for you to make a difference. Listen up for the following special preview, but in the meantime, that's all for now. So pull up a stool, and we'll see you here next week in the Dicey Cantina. A long, long, long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, Flight Risk is a Star Wars actual play crime dramedy podcast using the FFG Star Wars rule set and also set during the Old Republic era. Join Flight Risk and an eccentric group of mercenaries as they are thrust into the dark and violent world of organized crime. As agents of an enigmatic count, they traverse the outer rim in an attempt to not only survive, but to realize their destiny without losing their souls. Flight Risk is hosted by D. Wayne Feenstra with players Joe, Velvet, Nimoy, Kyle, and a whole bunch of additional guests from the podcast community each and every week. So don't miss out on all the fun. Look us up on Spotify, iTunes, or your favorite podcatcher and enjoy the ride.